Well, don't do that. Good morning. Welcome back to Cultivation with Christy. I'm Christy. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I hope you get to enjoy your day. As you see, it is very early. Well, I say very early. Very early for me and very early for a Sunday. So it's a quarter to seven. Um, came out to make sure that the chickens survived their first night in the coop and uh, figured out how to get out okay. Um, if anybody is local to the North Alabama area and would like roosters, please let me know <laughs> because they're starting to fight with each other. And I definitely have at least three roosters. And as you can tell, they're starting to figure out how to crow. <laughs> and I live in a neighborhood, so I don't need them to figure out how how to crow. <laughs> uh, anyway, this will be the first full garden tour of the 2024 season. Uh, like I said, today is Mother's Day, Sunday, May 11th. So, um, as you can see, I've got some uh, interesting <laughs> things starting back there. Hang on. Bless his little heart. He just don't know. The one that, <laughs> so that was Mrs. T, if you remember me naming the ma. That one there is Mrs. T. That one was supposed to be Hedy Lamar, but now he is Hedley Lamar because that's definitely a rooster. And then this guy is mean. He's, <laughs> he's the one that you can't see, got me yesterday. Uh, but that's a rooster, so I got at least three. There's one more, the other gray one back here that I'm not sure about. And obviously we still have some things to finish on the coop, but it's pretty well protected. Um, I replaced the, the chicken wire, but anyway, this is not a chicken tour, it's a garden tour, so I must stay focused. Anyway. We are gonna go in the garden. <laughs> As you guys recall, I started quite a bit of seeds. Um, and I ended up not having a place for everything. Lord, and I'm gonna have to water these trays because it got pretty hot out. Um, so I've got some herbs, I've got some zinnias. Um, some of the stuff like the mullein, I'm going to see about ripping out these bushes finally and getting some of that stuff, some of the medicinal herbs over there in that corner by the house. Anyway, so we'll start on this big long bed here. So I guess something either killed or it was done with the poppy that I had bought, but this one's doing fine. It tried to rebloom, and then we got a big storm, and I guess it bloomed, but I never got to see it. But I put some mini zinnias up front and a dwarf, I believe, um, marigold. I was going to come out here and kind of weed all this stuff up. As you can see, I got straw mulch down, but there's obviously still seeds in the straw mulch. It's pretty easy to weed. You just kind of lift up on it. But I've got a lot of that going on. And I need to do something with it. So what else I got in here? I got some basil down here. This one is the maybe spicy globe, I think. The little wooden tags that I had. The marker washed off of them. I need to prune this basil. But this one is the American Blue. African blue, I'm sorry, basil. I pretty much have a row of basils going all the way down back here. 
come around on this side first. I've got this pretty black petunia here. I've got the white wonder which these haven't come up yet so I wonder if I need to sew those. So these are going to be cucumbers. I had this last little inch, not inch, foot or two on the end of this trellis. So I was just going to put an additional cucumber down here. I may need to re-sew those. It's been a couple weeks. Um, all of the tomatoes are still doing good. Not as much growth as I thought they were going to be by now. So I don't know if that's concerning or should be concerning or not. So I've got Queen of the Night, Pineapple. What is this guy? Uh, Better Boy. Super Steak here. He's a little yellow. Uh, cherry. That guy's a little yellow too. I just fertilized him the other day. Maybe they need some more. Uh, a Blinken, sorry, hair, A Blinken, A Blinken, Amish paste, Amish paste, Amish paste, Roma, Roma, got covered up a little bit, weeds, growing in, um, striped Roma, striped Roma, striped Roma, San Marzano, San Marzano, San Marzano. And then we have this chamomile down here I just harvested the other day, so it's a little naked. Then I have some more zinnias down here at the end. And these are dwarf. And I got some nasturtium. There's another nasturtium in that hole there. And then I got some basil. This is probably holy basil if I didn't mark it. Uh, oh, look at this cucumber. I haven't been out here in a few days, so you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I need to tie this one up. Look at all these flowers. It's crazy. Bring him back over there. He probably won't stay. And see, these aren't very big. Anyway, those are the other two cucumbers. So I got um, a squash or a zucchini, a zucchini there, holy basil, then nasturtium, then the purple opal basil, then another problem. Oh no, that looks like a regular basil. Basil. Uh, marigold, more chamomile, and I got, oh look, my Cosmos. Cosmos are doing some things. And there's another Cosmo here. Mm -hmm. And then more basil, holy basil, nasturtium, and now, nasturtium is a flowering plant, and all plant, all parts of the plant are edible. They put out um, pretty little flowers. You can put them on bocaccia or in salads as a pretty little thing. They kind of taste a little spicy, like um, horseradish almost. Um, but if we wanted to eat, I think uh, pansies are also edible too, so... I got more regular basil there, and this will be, oh, I put another cucumber here. That's supposed to be the Armenian white, and that hasn't come up yet either, so probably need to re-sew those. I'll come back to that. <clears throat> Let's see. More holy basil there. The chamomile, squash, which both of my seeds we sowed came up there, I got a little baby zinnia, I got 
something basil. Another regular basil there. I've got these are supposed to be the candy striped zinnia. And more holy basil there. And the cockazelle squash is coming up. These look sad. I need to get some liquid fertilizer on them. Um, this one is the whatever is the one down there. We'll look at it in a minute. More of the opal basil. Some more regular basil, I think. That might be the spicy basil back there. And that's the African one. And then we're back to where we started with the spicy basil and some other things up here. So, that is bed one. Now the exciting things are happening on this side of the garden. Look at these strawberry plants. They have just filled out like crazy. And they're all wet from the dew. Look at this coleus I got from the Botanical Gardens sale. I'm sure there's strawberries in here. They've probably been eaten by slugs because every time I find a strawberry, it's been nibbled on. Oh, look, we're putting off runners. They are happy over here. I did fertilize them a little bit too. I think what I'm going to do with the plants over here, and I didn't quite expect this bed to do good the first year. You got to build the soil up. But I think I'm going to put some of that chicken manure back there over here, sprinkle it on the plants over here, even though I just did a granular organic fertilizer. Uh, I think I'm going to do that as well. And then over here, does anybody know if you deadhead Dianthus? Do I need to cut all these off to make it keep blooming? And this big fella is my horseradish. Now, if you did not know about horseradish, the leaves are edible. They're not quite as spicy as an arugula leaf. Um, but they do have a little different flavor than a lettuce. But if you saw my posts on Facebook, and I think I put it on Instagram too, I've been putting that on tacos. We've been putting that on sandwiches just because this time of year I don't have any lettuce growing in the garden. So, and this thing gets huge, so might as well use it, right? Um, you generally harvest the root after the first frost in the fall or before the last frost in the spring. Um, I shared a video with you guys a couple weeks, no, well, a couple months ago now, uh, harvesting this, and I processed it the other day. I'll actually put a picture up here um, of me. I just grinded up the roots in a blender. I did that outside here on the patio. There's a plug there. Um, and uh, added uh, apple cider vinegar over the top of it, and I, it is now fermenting on the counter for a week or two. Um, so horseradish, lots of uh, benefits with this one, and um, but put it in a place where you don't mind it spreading. So it's going to go everywhere. I put it in the bed, and it will pop up in the mulch down here and probably on the other side of the fence. So if you want to keep it contained, I recommend putting that one in a container. Alright, so moving right along from the horseradish, the... Um, sweet pea flower plant I planted over here it didn't do as well I think I was supposed to plant those in February so that's probably why it's getting a little hot now um, I planted some medicinal herbs over here this one is feverfew this one the tincture and the leaves are supposed to um, help prevent headaches so if you have a headache you may want to look into feverfew I have been taking a fever few tincture now for well over a month and actually haven't had as many headaches now there's some other factors to that well I probably haven't had headaches but it's a good one to look into my dianthus I added this one this year and the OG I got some sweet William here and these are the asparagus 
Look at that, it might actually go to seed this year. Oh, you can't see, you see that little baby there? They will turn red, they'll get these red little berries on them and those are the seeds. So we'll just stick those back down in the ground over here. And then this one over here and this, look at this. I can get over here for now. Look, well you can't see them on this side. Ugh. I'll have to go back around. Oh well, here you go. Look at that. We got some peas. That one's actually got peas in it. We got a bunch of peas coming up. This one's only for one plant because this one didn't do as well, and this one over here didn't make it. There's something. Oh, a squirrel. There's something what rustling through the trees back there. Yeah, I got peas. And I got some, I believe this is a lissom, but something is eating it, it looks like. Something ate, I had like three of them along here. Something ate them. But also, I got these beans and something is eating my beans. I need to come out here and spray. But I haven't really identified what it is. Aphids, maybe? I don't think it's ants. I don't know. I don't see anything. Maybe caterpillars? I don't know. What eats beans? I feel like I had the same problem last year. Like my uh, pinto beans that we transferred from the onion bed back there are all doing okay. I won't say well. But we've got the dragon tongue bush beans, the red beans, which those look to be doing the best. Then we have the transplanted pinto beans and some black beans. I've also got some marigolds sprinkled throughout here. I've got some giant zinnias kind of in the middle there. And then this here is that tiny little calendula, this one. And this one that I transferred out of the green stock and I wasn't sure it was going to make it. Well, look at this. It has exploded and has also started to flower again. These will open up here in a little bit. Not quite yet. I guess they open with the sun. Oh, what though? That's why it won't focus because I have it zoomed in all the way. There's that one. Let me come back over here so you can see this one. This one's pretty. Now, calendula is medicinal. Um, you can use it in salves for eczema, soak it in oil, extract it for a couple of weeks. So that's nice. I got another one down there. Not the yellow, it's the one in front of it. We'll get there. I've got another petunia in between the two melons down here, I believe. These are cantaloupe, and these are kajari. This one, and this one, which I totally spaced over in this big bed. But those are kajari melons. So, that's my bean bed. I haven't sown this half. I'm in a succession, so it a little bit later. And then, I started to talk about these peppers so I've got hot peppers in this bed sweet peppers in this bed and this bed <laughs> ended up being the overflow so I've got two cayennes which one of them I didn't think was gonna make it because it got a little smushed in the car from the swap um, but it seems to be holding on this is e -E -E Anaheim pimento Anaheim um, Anaheim, Pimento, and Pim... Nope, yep. I think it's Pimento. I thought I had some hot peppers over here, I guess not. Pimento, except for the cayenne. And then we've got Eggplant. Black Beauty. Eggplant, I think is all I have. My carrots are finally taking off. There's three rows of those. 
I also planted dill and parsley in between the rows. I took these. These were the starts I had. I was just trying to put them somewhere. I don't think they're going to make it. One, because it's too hot for dill. And two, this parsley is just sad. So, you see my seeds. So, carrots are coming along. We'll be harvesting carrots soon. And then, at the end of this bed, I have sun starting to come out. <laughs> I've got some lemon thyme. Here, goodness, I cut it. <laughs> and it's still in the way. Lemon thyme. I wish I had smell a vision for this. It is variegated and it smells lemony and lovely um you could cook with this you could probably make cleaners with this you can just smell it and enjoy it and love it it is very nice smell vision <laughs> also in this bed i have a row of little baby col uh not coleus Celosia. It was supposed to be pink, but they are pink and orange. And that one's the little brain looking one, so I got a mix of all kinds of them. And then this is the um, anise that, oh, sorry, that I didn't think was going to make it, but it's coming back. So that's pepper bed <laughs> number three and bed number three on this side look at that pop of color love it all right on to the pepper bed so I've got these pole beans that we planted a couple weeks ago I've got a little dwarf marigold there so these are spineless green beans I think these last two and something is eating these too I like the beans. Hmm. Don't know. And then these are the um, Chinese noodle beans. And I've got another dwarf marigold there on the end of this trellis. And I got all kinds of peppers. I think I've gone through the varieties before. But if you would like me to go through them again just let me know down in the comments but these are all hot peppers and most of them I'm sorry these are sweet peppers and most of them look good some of them are a little stunted for whatever reason this one may have gotten just beat up from the storm that one doesn't look like pest damage looks more like it's just been beat up And again, I need to come through and weed here. And then I got multiple varieties of hot peppers. I got a little dwarf marigold down here at the end, too. I think everything in this bed could use, or in this garden, rather, could use some fertilizer. Look at this chamomile. I need to come out here and harvest some of this. Most of it got beat up and it's wet this morning so they may fluff up here in a little bit when they dry off. I've got this volunteer sunflower here in a actually really good spot. These are butternut squash here at the end. More weeds. All the weeds. Then I've got Oh yeah, the cucumbers over here wrong. Wrong way, Christy, pay attention. Then I planted these. So these are sweet potatoes. Um these sweet potatoes I ordered from Haas Tools and they arrived and then for whatever reason they went an hour west of us back to Florence sat there for a week and then came all the way back so they looked pretty rough when I got them so I soaked them in some water 
and then I planted them right before I left for my work conference and they seem to be popping back a little bit. Um, the ones on the end here are competing against the regular potatoes because they're taking off. And I'm a little worried about putting 12, 9 or 12, however many I got in here in this bed. Because I feel like they might take over. Like everything. They look a lot better than they did. They're still a little scraggly. And this. Good gravy. So these are the potatoes. <laughs> the regular potatoes. Um, well, I've got, you were here when I planted them, the two rows of red and the two rows of white, and they are flowering, so that means they're down there making potatoes. Um, yeah, there's a sweet potato there that was getting covered. There's a, should be a sweet potato over here. Oh yeah, he's, nope, that's that one. Where are you? Maybe that one. Oh, yeah, there he is. Potatoes, stay in your lane. Alright, there's my other little sweet potato. That was underneath, and there should be one over here. <laughs> Look at this. They're all in the walkway. Good gracious. There's my little sweet potato right there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Potato. You just stay over there. <laughs> Good gravy. Look at that. Let's see if I can come around this way. I planted before they got just unruly. I planted a nasturtium down here, <laughs> but I'm gonna assume it goes back there, but that didn't make it. It's pretty though. Well, look, I have a bean <laughs> in the walkway over there. Anyway, that's the potatoes. They're doing great. I think they should come out probably next month. They'll start to die back when they're ready to harvest and then we've got the onion bed so these guys have shot up they're at my waist like two or three feet tall and the garlic back there is still doing good with garlic the bottom leaves like as you see here this is a garlic and when it is ready to harvest these bottoms so this one has already started to dry so that's one two three four five these all will start to be brown and die like this one and that's how you know it's about ready to harvest and that is the outer shell like an onion where it dries off and you have those couple of outside layers that are dry that's the same thing with a garlic um, with the onions you will know they are ready to harvest um, when they start to bulb up and really you can harvest the onions at any point after they've started bulbing look at what I found while I was sitting here talking to you guys I have garlic scapes so these are like the flower of the garlic and apparently they're supposed to be very tasty. They're on a hard neck. So I had a variety of different kinds over here from the lady just to try them out. But look, I'm going to have to harvest. You just cut these off and apparently you cook with them. I've got to learn how to, got some more coming up over there, learn how to do that my chrysanthemum i got it aldi last year and just plopped here in the ground it is happy and content and it is an ant magnet amongst other things crazy now the uh, addition i guess all of this is addition addition look at this um this is the calendula i was telling you about the one in the back now these are dahlias, 
you did not recognize them. I got these two from Man Cave Market. And I forgot to mention the one down here that's popping up. I overwintered it with my peppers, but the peppers didn't make it. But this Dahlia did. And this one I got from Enchanted Forest here in town last year. And it's coming back just fine. But anyway. I sprinkled some ground cherry seeds over here and over here. I don't think those are coming up. Um, but I've got, oh yeah, this is the one, the chocolate bubblegum holy basil. That's the one that I split that's up there that doesn't have a tag. So this is nice. I need to cut that back a little bit too. Uh, my poor one single. Um, chamomile. So I've learned that chamomile you don't split up into single plants. You actually seed those heavy and you want to do that. I thought they would bush out, but they do not. So you want a bunch of plants all together. That one's my one ground cherry that did make it. I'm excited about those. Um, I had some Gila something somethings over here, but I don't know if those are gonna make it. I had a couple of them. That's grass. Anyway, so over on this side in the in-ground section, I have, well, I've got something coming up. That's a, that's a watermelon or squash. Oh, it's, <laughs> look, it's growing out of the loofah that I <laughs> buried under the weed cloth. Isn't that funny? I got one over here too. I think that's a loofah as well. Speaking of volunteers, I got this watermelon growing out of the compost. I think I got that watermelon growing out of the compost. And then that bean there that I'll probably move. Look, there's another loofah coming out. All the volunteers. Anyway, I've got the Pennsylvania Dutch... Um, squash there. It's that big old butternut squash. Red Kari. Pumpkin. Lincoln's cucamelons are still doing good. I need to get over there. The weeds are coming through. Raspberry still looks good. Still no raspberries. I was talking to a lady at Next Step Farms yesterday when we were over there volunteering, planting some trees and bushes and things, and raspberries. And um, see, I get little blooms. Oh, those are making raspberries. That one, a particular one. But I haven't got any raspberries. This is the third year I'm supposed to get raspberries. But anyway, I may need to put those in the ground. So we'll just see if it does anything this year. And if not, I'll make a spot back here to keep it permanently. There's another cucamelon. I've got this fig branch I got from a lady at the swap, but I don't know if it's gonna do anything. But I put it in there. Cucamelon, mammoth sunflowers. Apparently I need to move one of those over here. I've got crimson spineless, motherland, motherland and hill country red there looks like i need to reseed a motherland there then i got some fun oh look my autumn beauty finally came up one i was gonna do some more i need to put another blue this one's supposed to be pink autumn beauty orange chocolate and blue sunflowers so we will see if anything comes up there but that's it guys that is the full garden tour of everything I got going on in the garden now I do have some things over here in the green stock I'm running out of memory but I'll try to show you real quick 
I'm growing wheat and sunflowers in the uh, supposed to be fire pit. That was from the bird seed. Anyway, I've got some nasturtium over here as well. Some cosmos. That one's going to be orange. More cosmos. I got some strawberries at the swap. I think one of them. That one made it. That one didn't. Parsley. The normal stuff. My mint. Comfrey is looking good. My lime tree made it through the winter. It's looking good. I got stuff I need to put in pots. Citronella. I got some stuff I need to put out front. Echinacea. Coneflower. Um, bachelor buttons. Roselle. I do have some arugula coming up slowly, but surely I love arugula. I need to plant a lot of that. And some other. I got curry. That smells lovely too. Sorry the sun is getting crazy. Hiss up some tomatoes. Oh yeah, look. I've got the first tomato of the season on this little tiny Tim Dwarf tomato. Got some broccoli. I don't obviously think those are going to do anything, but I put them in here. Some more cosmos is growing towards the sun. Anyway. Anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, either with your mothers or celebrating your mothers. Um, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to clean up my house and start making brunch for my mothers. My mother and my mother-in-law are coming over. Humminbird decided to join us. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. If you have any questions about the garden or suggestions, I'd love to hear it. I'm going to edit this video so you can see it today. I'll see you next time.